Good evening and happy February 2022. Welcome to Real Estate News Network. I'm your host, Rob Kropp. We're already a month into the year and it feels like it just got started, though probably had something to do with everyone getting the uh, flu, or I mean Megatron, I mean COVID-19. The real estate market has officially hit the ground running for the year with a slew of surprises and curveballs. First up, inventory levels, and sad to say, they are not. This year, we started off with some of the lowest numbers in a long time. In fact, we're seeing less available homes in many areas than we saw this time last year. This, of course, is creating a massive rush on any property that's priced right and move-in ready. So brace yourself for multiple offers, no inspections, and a ton of waived appraisals this winter and spring season. And for those of you that have held out this long without selling, this could be your year. Next up, interest rates. We had our first large rate hike hit the market. So how high are they? Well, rates have climbed up just over half a point and higher. And the Fed is telling us that this is one of many hikes to happen throughout the year. It was only a matter of time as these rates were artificially kept low in order to help the economy. Right now, we're seeing rates in the mid to high threes and even into the low fours. So if you've been considering making a move, the time is now. Don't postpone too long, as we will see these rates rise even more throughout the year. And the difference of 1% in an interest rate can mean as much as $100,000 in buying power. Join us next time for all your real estate news and good night. And I bet everyone that didn't buy last year is kicking themselves.